Hello everyone, welcome to Route to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve an interesting system of equations. So the given question is, for the system of equation given by x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 equals to 33 and x plus y equals to 3, then find the possible order pairs of x, y. So here we are asked to find the possible pairs of x and y that satisfies the given equations. Okay. So before going through the solution, please do subscribe my channel and hit the like button for more such interesting videos. So let's start the solution. So our first equation is x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 equals to 33 is our first equation. And our second equation is x plus y equals to 3 is our second equation. So in the first step, by applying the binomial theorem expansion, that is a plus b whole to the power n is equals to summation of r equals to 0 to n and c r multiplied with a to the power n minus r multiplied with b to the power r. So here let's just assume a as x and b as y and n as 5. So by applying the binomial expansion, the x plus y whole to the power 5 is equals to 5c0 x to the power 5, y to the power 0, plus 5c1, x to the power 4, y plus 5c2, x is cube, y square, plus 5c3, x to the power 2, y to the power 3, plus 5c4, x to the power 1, y to the power 4, plus 5c5, x to the power 0, y to the power 5. So this implies is x plus y to the power 5 is equals to, this total term is equals to x to the power 5 plus 5c1 x to the power 4y is equals to 5 x to the power 4y plus 5c2 is nothing but 10 x is cube y square plus 5c3 is also equals to 10x square y cube plus 5c4 is equals to x y to the power 4 plus this total term is equals to y to the power 5. So this implies this x plus y to the power 5 equals to we can write x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 plus let's just take common 5xy from these two terms. So we have 5xy multiplied with x cube plus y cube plus and similarly, let's just take common 10x square y square. So, we have x plus y in common. So, from equation 1, we have x plus y is equals to 3. So, this implies this we can write 3 to the power 5 and x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 is equals to 33 plus 5xy x is cube plus y cube plus 10x square y square multiplied with 3 this implies is 3 to the power 5 is 243 equals to 33 plus 5 x y x is cube plus y cube plus 30 x square y square so this implies is 5 x y x is cube plus y cube plus 30 x square y square minus 210 equals to 0 so we know an algebraic identity that is x plus y whole cube is equals to x is cube plus y cube plus 3xy multiplied with x plus y. So from equation 1 we have x plus y equals to 3. So let's just put the value here. So we have 3 cube equals to x is cube plus y cube plus 9xy. So this implies this x is cube plus y cube is equals to 27 minus 9 x y. So here we have x is cube plus y cube. So let's just put the value of x is cube plus y cube here. So our equation becomes 5 x y multiplied with 27 minus 9 x y plus 30 x square y square minus 210 equals to 0. So this implies this 5 multiplied with 27 is 135xy minus 45x square y square 
प्लस थर्टी एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस टू हंड्रेड टेन इक्वल्स टू जीरो दिस इम्प्लाइज फिफ्टीन एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस वन थर्टी फाइव एक्स वाई प्लस टू हंड्रेड टेन इक्वल्स टू जीरो ना लेज टेक कॉमन फिफ्टीन सो वी कैन राइट एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन एक्स वाई प्लस फोर्टीन इक्वल्स टू जीरो by considering x y as one variable we have an quadratic equation so by using middle term splitting method we can find the values of x y so we can write x square y square minus 7 x y minus 2 x y plus 14 equals to 0 this implies is x y common so we have x y minus 7 so you will take minus 2 common so we have x y minus 7 equals to 0 Now this implies is x y minus two multiplied with x y minus seven equals to zero. So we have x y equals to two and x y equals to seven. Okay. So let's just find the value of x y for x y equals to two. So in the case one for x y equals to two. So from equation one we have x plus y equals to three. This implies is y equals to three minus x. Let's just put the value of y here. So we have x multiplied with three minus x equals to two. This implies is three x minus x square equals to two. This implies is x square minus three x plus two equals to zero. This implies is x square minus two x minus x plus two equal. This implies is we have x minus two multiplied with x minus one equals to zero. So from here we can write x equals to two or x equals to one. So we know that x plus y equals to three. Okay. So when x equals to two, y equals to one. And when x equals to one, y equals to two. So x and y is equals to either two or one, or one or two. So we found x y equals to two one and one two four. X y equals to. Now in the case two, we we'll take x y equals to seven. So from equation two, we have x y equals to three. This implies this. y equals to three minus x. So let's just put the value of y here. So we have x multiplied with three minus x equals to seven. This implies is three x minus x square equals to seven. This implies is x square minus three x plus seven equals to zero. So here we have a quadratic equation. So by applying the quadratic formula, we can write x equals to minus three plus or minus root under three square minus multiplied with one multiplied with seven divided by two. This implies is x equals to three plus or minus iota root nineteen divided by two. So here we have two values of x. So for x equals to Three plus iota root nineteen by two. The value of y is y equals to three minus three plus iota root nineteen divided by two. So this is equals to six minus three minus iota root nineteen divided by two, which is equals to three minus iota root nineteen divided by and four. X equals to three minus iota root nineteen divided by two. The value of y is equals to three minus three minus iota root nineteen divided by two, which is equals to six minus three plus iota root nineteen divided by two. So this is equals to three plus. Iota root nineteen divided by. So from the second case, the value of x and y is 
when x equals to 3 plus iota root 19 by 2, the value of y is 3 minus iota root 19 by 2 or for x 3 minus iota root 19 by 2, the value of y is 3 plus iota root 19 by 2. So, we already found the values of x, y in the case 1 that is when x is 2, y is 1 or x is 1, y is 2 are also the pairs that satisfies the given equation. So, we found 4 possible pairs that satisfies the given system of equation. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the like button for more such interesting videos. Thank you.